I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. I have to stop this. It can't go on. I know. You have to trust me. I don't agree with my father's ways. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... Part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. I want to know the price before I agree to pay it. I'm no fool. It seems that you are. Because you clearly don't understand. Peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... you let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring. But... you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I'm not afraid of some petulant fourth-born. You should be. Because there's a very dangerous fourth-born in your house right now. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know. But whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses. All your plans. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan. Even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Thank you. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you, be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. Lord? At least bring the horse closer, I'm a can... cripple man. Unbelievable. Well, there we go. Now what? Nowhere to be found, and they just. Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here to hold this house together. Mother, I. I went to see Gwyn Whitehill. 
You did what? You would meet with the girl who once tore this house apart. Oh, I, I see now why you went in secret. I went only to hear what she had to say. It was my duty. But she seems willing to help our family. That all depends on the help she offers. Well, what did she have to say? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans. But I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? I have to keep the peace with Griff. Even if that means letting him have his way at times. The thought of it makes me ill. I don't like it either. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. Is it not bad enough for you already? It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open with me, then our problems run deeper. <laughs> go on. Go on. Get Oi, Lord Ethan. Get you do what you're told. <laughs> oh, please, <laughs> oh, I just oh, move oh, on. Oh, <laughs> Northern, he was standing over there. No, Just stay well, put, was. stay out of sight. Get down there. Get down there. What do you want from me? No, no, he was over there. And Ramsey was yeah, here. I'll tell you how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. I must speak true. I haven't the balls to defy you, lord. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house right now. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. I know you've seen it before, but um, it gets better every time. Show some respect in my house, in my home. Well, that's what we're doing. Remembering young Ethan as he was. <laughs> oh, please, no. Say hello to your father. <laughs> Down. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real Ethan. <laughs> what about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to dirty my blade with your blood. Before this is over, your blood will have joined my brothers on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Make his right, brother watch, because I will really have some fun. Enough! Griff will deal with him. When he's done, He'll own this fucking house. And he'll have more than just words for you. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. Ah, back to the wall. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Gary. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. 
The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Britt's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'm a ranger now. I've left my past behind me, Brit included. Until you're standing next to him with a sword in your hand. That's the real test. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. No. Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises. He wants us ready for the march tomorrow. Just give the word. I'm tired of being under Frostfinger's boot all the time. You do know we're heading off to fight a band of murderers, right? That's why you bring a ranger. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with you going to Craster's. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. Always planned on giving it back. You're not too mad, then. Because well, the thing is, I noticed this part here. North Bro. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. It is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. I didn't think you were that gullible. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth. It's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. Here I thought you might have some brains, Gary. But you deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. How could I? Rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Blacksaw. People talk, you know. Not about the North Grove, they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. But we were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local, and well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Daughter, you're the bloody enemy. How am I supposed to trust you now? I'm not your enemy, Garrid. I'm your friend. Or at least I thought I was. 
Are we... Are we still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. And I'd understand if you were angry. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shithouse you fixed is still leaking. I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you. Keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. North of the walls, a different world. One wrong step and it will swallow you whole. Cut her! Now! I'm on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Well, well, well. Smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You all right? Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say, death by sword was a sweet kiss, but fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher... I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I've been fighting side by side with Beska for four years. She has saved my life more times than I care to admit. I owe her. Thank you for being honest. But she's not family. <sighs> Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I did you wrong. Well, that's good of you to say so. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who you are. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learned. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. Not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no. Be reasonable. I am reasonable. I'm letting him fucking choose. My hair could use a trip. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha. 
hey, the hey, man hey. betrays my trust. There's a price Stop to be Let him go. Enough. Fuck you, Croft. Out of your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Jordan, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hours are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We? You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. And why in a hobby's tip would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. A grace pays good coin. I've got wine, women. Did this Khaleesi make you a house cat, Croft? Curled up at her feet. Since when did you turn down an adventure? Since the second son swore to Daenerys bloody Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet, Asher. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happen to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Orange eyes, as big as my head, scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. I can definitely charm her. I think we all know this. Oh. Back to the wall. Day tomorrow, isn't it? Off the Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Potter with it? You ask me. Is there something off about him? Aside from him being the only thief, I mean. Not like he's holding something back. Potter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map. Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'd want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. Yeah. 
Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. tries coming over the wall. Well, those will stop them. I think we know who's riding it. Aha, I missed you. Oh. This must hold up the lift. Pig farmer. A 300 mile wall. And you're still in my way. We'd settle things on the way to Craster's. But this is even better. Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. The wall's a dangerous place. People slip off all the time. Still have some fighting spirit left in you, huh? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If we're doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. He was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking the... You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. Who? Too bad your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you. What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? Let's see if you scream like you're st you got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me, like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Oh no, don't burn my face! The spear, really. Finish it. 
Oh no. My lord, our people are starving and afraid. The White Hills have driven them away from the ironwood groves. Out of the way. And so they come to us, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and retain our position in the north? We can't even feed the people we see before us. It's like the dead of winter's come. And it doesn't look like it's getting better. I have faith in Mira. I'm sure she can find us the coin we need. Well, I hope we can figure something out. As long as the White Hills are in our house, we have to be careful. Come on, you. Let me go. You can't do this. Good. You're here. Look. Look at this. Did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal. Well, they bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's going to get what she has coming to her. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me. I don't care if she's your sister. Fine. You brought her to me. I'll deal with her. That's not for you to decide. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench. I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. We've done enough for you. You can't push us any further. I can push you as much as I like. And if your people don't see that, they need to learn their place. This girl is out of control. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in, yeah, well, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. They've all been missing that. My sister, she made a mistake. That's all. She is but a child, and this arrangement tests us all. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. She's not the only one who's made mistakes. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Careful, boy. You yourself had the gall to make threats against my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. Wait, forgive her. Forgive her. The passions of youth. No one questions your authority, Griff. You have the power. Oh, I like him. You thought this was your man, Roderick? He's mine. A dog to be sure, but my dog. That's how I like to see you, foresters. Obedient servants, eager to please your master. He's a loyal member of my house, a man of peace, and he deserves to be treated as such. You don't get it, do you? You foresters need to learn when you're beaten. <sighs> you will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters. Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. Stand down, Royal. As you wish. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! Oh. 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 
I will not yield. You bloody snot. Why don't you fucking get it? Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place and stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. You don't have to do that, Lord Grip. Don't you dare! You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! What? Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Hold there! Or you're next! <coughs> Please, Lord Grip, help the arm! <coughs> if you persist, Lord Roderick may lose it! <coughs> now! Stay down. Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? My lord, please, just Stay do it. Down. Stay down. Don't be a fool. Oh, no, you, you can't. I command you. Let him alone. I'll do as I like. You, you should fear me. I'm in charge here! No! I alone rule this house. Don't think this is over, Roderick! You'll see! I will make you suffer for this! Trust in that! My boy. Careful, he's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He couldn't keep you down. You were brave, but there will be consequences, my son. We both know that. Well, there we go. We'll deal with those consequences.